Thank you, and uh, and congratulations to, to you folks for demonstrating against uh, fraudulent elections. You know, it's appropriate uh, that uh, it's a cold day uh, in Ottawa when this demonstration is on because what we've seen in the last election, some of the things that have happened, puts a chill down the spine of Canadians that this kind of activity shouldn't be happening in our country, Canada. Yeah. This is wrong, and any of the people that are, that are involved in that uh, should be charged. However, you know, there's, uh, there's been a pattern here for some time uh, that's been going on in this country for a number of elections now, where, you, where there's greater attack on individuals and persons who are, who are putting their name on the line to run in an election. Rather than debating issues, it's attacked the individual. And that pattern, pattern has been developed by the current uh, Prime Minister. And that's not the kind of electoral, products, uh, electoral production that we want to see. We want to see elections that debates issues rather than attacking uh, individuals. That's the Republican style of election that we've seen south of the border that's been imported uh, into Canada. But even worse, even worse, you know, uh, you know elections, it, it, uh, elections, you are there, yes, to win your election. But it seems to be the attitude of the Prime Minister, it's not just about winning, it's about destroying the enemy and political opponents who are there to debate and discuss the issues from his perspective seem to be there to be destroyed. And that's not the kind of electoral politics that we want to see uh, in, this, in this country. You know, on the, on the robocalls issue, one, uh, one of the things that uh, bothers me uh, somewhat is the, the, the way the government spokesmen are trying to uh, muddy the waters, uh, cover up the issue, saying that everybody does do robocalls. Of course everybody does robocalls, but there's two types of robocalls. There's one in which we all call and poll and see who our supporters are, and there's the other which is involved in electoral fraud, which is to impersonate that you're off a party that you're not, to try and prevent that person from going to vote. There's the others that impersonate Elections Canada to try and uh, make them go somewhere where the, where the polling station is not. And that's what the investigation is on. So don't be distracted, don't be, uh, as, as the Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister tries to constantly say, this is a smear campaign, it's a smear uh, campaign of the Government of Canada. Is anyone telling me that 31,000 Canadians who contacted Election Canada, that they're all trying to smear the Government of Canada? No, they're not. What they're trying to do is to get to the bottom of the issue to see that elections are held fair and square in this country and that electoral fraud does not take place. So, so I, can, I congratulate you for coming out on this cold, chilly day. And if the Prime Minister was really concerned, as he ought to be about this issue, in trying, in trying to... Uh, uh, in trying to make it look like everybody does the thing. If the Prime Minister was really concerned, he would do what the rest of us are asking for, and that is to call for an inquiry into this issue to get to the bottom of it, to see if there is electoral fraud and who is behind it. So congratulations, thank you very much, and thank you for standing up for election rights in Canada and our rights as a democratic nation. Woo!